Hello again everyone, this is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart and in this Asia update video I'm going to take a look at the Shanghai Composite, Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index, India's Nifty 50, uh, Baidu and YY. And we'll talk about why I think Nifty 50 is about ready to uh, take another leg to the upside, so stay tuned. Alright, let's start off here with Shanghai Composite. Uh, in the past, I've labeled this wave B over here where I've got this number three and I've moved it over here to the right now because I was thinking it was doing a zigzag, but now I believe it's doing more of a sideways triangle. Uh, triangles are either fourth waves or B waves in Elliott Wave labeling. And I think we've got a B wave and it's a part of this larger corrective action that is still going on. So that's the picture I think is underway. And if that's the case, we have wave one, two, three, four, and a fifth wave that could end at any time. So we'll be watching that right now. We've got a little short term trend uh, to the upside for this wave five. Uh, Hong Kong. The Hang Seng Index, we, uh, we broke down through this support here, and now we've got a little snapback, a little pullback rally. Uh, this is yesterday. This is Thursday's trading. It is actually closed today, the Friday the 21st, uh, because it's getting, uh, Hong Kong's getting hit with, by a typhoon down there. So uh, I can understand why they want to close, uh, close the market and, and uh, hunker down. So that's why we've just got four days of trading this week. Uh, I'm actually looking for, we got a little moving average across the downside. I'm looking for this to continue to roll over and come down. India. India, the last time we talked, I think, actually, where was it? Well, a week ago would have been uh, the 14th, right? So on the 14th, we, we got a little pullback here. Uh, and the week before that, I remember thinking, and we talked about the fact that Either this is going to break this trend line and start start the move to the upside, or it's going to pull back down and be uh, continued to do the intermediate wave four, and that's exactly what it did. Now I think there's a a decent chance that this intermediate wave four may have completed here, but I want to see a break of this trend line to confirm that. We get a break of this trend line, good volume, and uh, I think that this thing is going to go. We've got several closes above the 10-day moving average. Uh, we get a break and a moving average cross, and the intermediate wave five is going to be uh, underway. And then once that happens, we'll be, I'll be able to make uh, projections as to where I think a, a good target for intermediate wave five will be. So uh, there's a decent chance that the the last wave of a very very large uh, bull market move for the India Nifty 50 is about to be underway or has just started. Okay, and then the last two we're going to look at is Baidu. And uh, four weeks ago is when I looked at it on the last day of trading at that time was on the 20th and it was Wednesday the 21st when I made that video. And so it continued to push up to this trend line, did not get the follow through and have now pulled back. Uh, the labeling I've got in here on the corrective move it's a little bit tentative because it's just a little unsure as to what it's doing. This looks like an ending diagonal in here. Uh, I think it's wave C, could be uh, intermediate wave Y as a part of a big corrective action. Uh, and then there's a possibility, I think the way I've got this labeled here, my preferred count is that this is wave one and that we're doing a wave two pullback. But if that's the case, this is going to need to get legs underneath and get some uh, support coming in. And it could be getting it from this congestion right here, this consolidation in here, this trading. And uh, we'll watch to see. Uh, today is Friday the 21st, and it's 11 o'clock in the morning Central Time. So it's been two and a half hours of trading, and Baidu's up uh, 92 cents right now. So it's trading to the high side, but it's going to need to make a decent turn to if it's going to start to make a run at that trend line again and break to the upside. Now, YY, last time we talked, was here on the 20th. Uh, and then all it's done since then is break this trend, uh, upward trend, uh, trend, I want to say trend channel, upward trending trend line. That's a little redundant. 
whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And so now we've broken this to the to the sideways, to the right, and we're basically consolidating sideways. When you break a trend line, yeah, it's either going to do one of two things. It's either going to have a decent pullback or it's just going to correct via time sideways. And that's exactly what YY has done. Um, on the 20th, it closed to 5309, and yesterday it closed to 5275. So in four weeks, it's basically down 34 cents. So uh, it's gone nowhere. All right, so what's going on with YY? You know, so far, it's continuing to trend down. You know, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, and that's the pattern. Uh, so right now, it's going to be really, really interesting. If we don't get any pullback, this could be just getting some kind of little uh, sideways uh, consolidation and then break to the upside and take out a previous high and start a move. We'll have to uh, let me take a look at, yeah, we could, let's try a trend line in here and see what this looks like. Actually, see that makes it look like it tried to close but then just couldn't uh, go. We'll, uh, we'll keep that in there for now and see how that plays out. So that's uh, it's been challenging that trend line and couldn't really get above it uh, and now may make another run for it. What is YY doing this morning? It's only up three cents so it's at 52.75 so it's continuing to just uh, go sideways. All right that's the picture on Baidu YY Asia update uh, and uh, if you thought the video was helpful hit the uh, like button thumbs up button there and uh, share the video on social media with your friends. You can copy the URL, send it in an email also. So uh, spread the word. And if you're not watching us on my website, head on over to the website, check out the posts I've got over there and uh, the membership and other things I've got for you there on the website. All right, everyone have a uh, great rest of the day and we'll talk to you this weekend again.